interview you again when we get home. Well, I have other. See if, I, I see if have, you're right. Are you gonna on camera? Do you want to know where I think we're going? All the places. If you can say yeah, it fast. Yes. If you, yeah, yeah, it's, it's here your agenda. Wait, wait, let's, let's take wait, a look. Yeah, at, get, get her agenda of what she has planned. All right, let's take a look at the... Let um, me get my shirt. This is what the Steve ministry gave me. They care about me being old. It's a lake hearing ministry. They take care of geriatrics. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's... This is the order I think we're going in. Let me get the date on here so everybody knows what, they, what today is. Grace's big, big day. Okay, we're zooming in on the Galton family, minus me. I think we're going to Mackinac. Uh-huh. But I know we've rented cars, so I'm not too sure about that. Secondly, I think we might be going to Orcas Island. Where's Orcas Island? In Seattle. Okay. Because my friend Susan Perry said she knew where we were going, and I figured Dad got some suggestions from Paul. Okay. I hope we were going to Hawaii, but I saw the athletic sweaters in the city, so I think that <laughs> might be an out. Any other? The only other clothes I have are two that Jeremy dropped. And what could those be? Well, he wrote a note to his dad one night and said, Mom thinks we're going to Canada. Ha, ha, ha. What do you wear in Idaho? And so I don't know. And then the other day he said, oh, I'll do that in Boston. And then look, gave me a real funny look. So I don't know. But I, we've been to Boston. Well, it looks like you have a few places. And the other place, well, there's one more. These are the order. <laughs> Lake uh, Louise and Banff. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with Banff. That in Canada? Yeah. So that's what I think. So there's a few, there's a few locations it could be at. Okay. Bye. Let's go. Brad, I'm recording you. That's good. I know where we're going now. I do not. <laughs> I was going to Cape Cod, and I was very, very surprised. Do you know the name of the city, Mother? What? Would you happen to know the name of the city? Chatham. Never been to Cape Cod. It's really exciting. But I, and, I, and I was totally fooled. I'm getting ready for the plane. We'll see if Mark's checking no, out. Not we only have about 19 pieces of luggage. Don't waste the batteries on that. We don't have so many. Checking us in. Mark. Whoa. Happy birthday. Are we checked in? Yeah, we got checked in. Oh. Hey, Galti. Marky. JR, say something. Hi. This is for posterity. You can do better than that. Trusty steed, you're gonna locate our duffel bags. Let's see if we can get that handsome kid on film. Look at that handsome man. That's a handsome black man. Okay. She was complaining she hasn't been on film for three minutes. So we'll give a good close up. Look at those sparklers. <laughs> All right, we got our luggage coming up here, folks. 
We are now at Plymouth, Massachusetts. This is the Plymouth Rock. It says 1620. And these funny people over here are throwing. And then across the street, there is a. Museum, it's called. We're crossing the bridge right now from Bourne, and we're crossing over from Buzzards Bay. And it's the canal. The Cape canal that's, that connects Buzzards Bay with Cape Cod. The first glimpse of the house that we've rented for this week. And the windmill. Wildfires. Yeah. Grace, what do you think? Oh, I just think it's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Nine o'clock. Nine. This is a panorama, a panorama shot of uh, this house. It's called Sur, Sur Mer. Quite a famous house. It's featured on postcards of Chatham. The windmill is actually a functioning windmill. It doesn't function anymore, but at one time it did. It has a large stone and the uh, all of the mechanism of an old functioning mill. Now out beyond the harbor you can see the sandbar out there. And this is the main part of the house. Looking towards the front of the house and the front porch area.
this is uh, looking the house from the uh, from the front yard. House next door. Then there's this pathway leading down to the beach. And a beautiful beach it is. And uh, tomorrow we may explore that sandbar out there. See how hard it is to get out there because it looks like there's a beautiful beach out on the sandbar. I'm recording, Mark. This is the dining room with Mark in the dining room, brushing his teeth. Happy birthday, Mama. Thank cool you. place. What do you like best about it? Mm, I like a little bungalow windmill. It's the windmill? It's probably Have you seen all of the um, pictures yeah. of the house? What's that? Oh, I ain't here. This is the dining room. And then this is the living room. And out of that bay window, where the window seat is, looking out is the shore and the cave. This is a really cozy living room. There are pictures all over of this place because the place we're reading is getting a lot of magazines. It has its own windmill, which is a little guest cottage where Mark and Brad are. And then we're all here in the main house. And I love the fabrics. The floors look very, very old. The doors are very, very old. The fireplaces in all the rooms. Considering you've got three extra inches of Everybody's trying to get dressed. It's about a quarter of nine. And we have a reservation at a place called Christian's that's been recommended. I don't know if this is going to come out in the video, but this is a wall uh, hanging that shows this place a hundred years ago and some of the improvements. I like this one right here taken from the road with the flowers and the main house on the left and then the windmill. There it is in the summertime. This is really fun. Postcards down there? To be in a place. Yeah, there are all kinds of postcards of this I'm going to get this right here. And see That's what this one says. Can you read that, Mark? Where friendly little houses are blinds of blue or green, where water lilies lift their cups, the fairest ever seen, within the sound of oceans roar along the ever-changing shore, that's Cape Cod, where gaily right. windmills whirl, and Bob White's call, and whip or whirl, whip or wills, I suppose, where old roads wind among the trees, and every breeze, some white sail fills, where roses climb on old gray walls, with soft Boys, summer stands and calls, that's Cape Cod. Where great white churches crown the hills and look o'er sea and land. Blood brothers of the beacons tall, like sentinels they stand, and shaken thou the tempest rays and move from age to age, that's Cape Cod. That's kind of cool, this. This, we're standing. Okay, I think we might want to get a move on here. And then off the dining room. 
Hey, what's in it? You it's a... our room. Lots of antiques in here. Shelf. Where's Brad? He's in the outhouse. Hello. Hi, Jeremy. And here's me out. Here's Jeremy Groton. He's gonna brush his teeth. What do you think, folks? I think we don't do it. Okay. And then I'll go out into the kitchen. This is a bar area. With a view of the water. The main part of the kitchen. And Steve Arena, who planned all this. Hi, Steve. Hi, Grace. What do you think of this little place, this it little is, cottage that I this little have cottage, found for you? This little four-bedroom cottage with, a, with its own breakfast room, its own dining room. It's featured in. Featured in. Country Inns magazine. Oh, it's featured in Country Inns magazine. I didn't think you'd rent us a whole house, Steve. And then there's another bath and bedroom. Where's Liz? Looks like Jeremy hasn't quite finished unpacking. And he's back here. I think JR, you'll want to pick up your towel off the bed, honey. Yes. Would you read the card from your birthday card from your parents, honey? Dear Grace, thinking of what a lovely daughter you've always been, feeling so proud of the woman you've become, wishing you the special joy you so deserve. Happy birthday with love. A daughter, our daughter Grace, sweet sunshine to brighten your life, warm laughter to lighten your day, that special excitement of seeing the world in a brand new and wonderful way. The beauty of living, the joy of adventure, the dreams, and the secrets to share. A daughter that treasure you hold in your heart and the magic will always be there. We will be so glad to see you and again talk to one another. Enjoy your 50th birthday, our only daughter. Lots of love forever, mother. Your birthday present awaits you at that sight. I can hardly wait to see our little girl. It doesn't seem like 50 years since you began. The treasure. We treasure and love you for the concern and loving. Uh, the eyes have gone, Steve. And loving mother and wife you grew into. I look forward to picnics and pontoon boat rides with you this summer. Love, Dan. What is it known for? What is it known for? Hi, Jeremy. Travis Town is great. Wow. Listen. Can you get sort of still to where we're here we're having dinner at Christian's restaurant in Chatham, Massachusetts? Can you get mom? My birthday wish. Wait, you should have a birthday. Two single out of them. Actually, you played pretty well. Mark, how about you? Can you give mom a birthday wish? I wish you another 50 years of happiness. Six or seven in the summer. how about you? Well, I hope that the, on your way to Oz, that the winged monkeys will come and take you away. Let's try this again. Let me try it again. Why don't we go back? We'll, we'll, we'll go backwards. I'm really feeling let down. Oh, I didn't prepare a toast, but uh. No, I just would like something sincere from you. your heart. How about um? I got one. I got some. Okay, just something that I've meant to you in your life. Oh, we brought our own. Go down there. All right, stop camera, please. Let's see, are we on? Um, you've invested so much time and love and care in me personally. In my last 23 years, I hope that now that you've hit this period of your life, that it's 
my turn to be able to offer my love and to be able to reciprocate what you've done for me. I really love you, man. I love you too. I mean, I really do. <laughs> Look at this model. May you live 50 years. Oh wait. May you look 50 years younger in 50 years. That was intelligence in its utmost form. Jeremy, the human evolutionary concept. Jeremy's taking advanced geometry. I just want to know one thing. What have I meant to you as a mom? You've been my favorite mom ever. <laughs> that was a classy <laughs> one last <laughs> year. You know, mom has her cold nights when she only has her videos. Mom. Yeah, we got a lot of those. Yeah, since I've been going to college, I miss those good home cooked meals so much. Why don't you send some up to me? We all. I just missed you a lot. I forgot how much I. I appreciate you being around in every yeah. different way. You're, you're there in ways that are invisible that I, that I can't always tell you. And uh, I feel that a lot in, in uh, college. And uh, this is it's very special to come down here and celebrate you. Know, and yeah. Am I on? You're on. I'm really grateful for this um, week. I'm really grateful to be here with everybody I love the most. Touched by this dinner and everything you have to do to make this possible. I love you all. Hi, man. Get it, get it. We're on. Oh, Jeremy, get the cake. 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 Get I hope we do this in the beginning. We're on. I'd like to say something about your birthday. Well, first of all, it's, you know, it's very special having all of our family here. It's really special having Brad and Mark and Brad. I don't know yet. I don't know and uh, I also really feel good about Grace's birthday. Grace is a truly remarkable woman. I don't know that we, we show her the appreciation that we, that we ought to. But think about all the remarkable, wonderful qualities that we have. The energy and the enthusiasm. Just the joy that she brings to us. We need to let her know that we, how much we really care. Happy birthday, birthday. Here we are in the backyard of our newly house, Cape Cod, Shadow, Massachusetts. Finally, a little thing on the house. Hey, Dad!
Nasset, Nasset uh, Beach Lighthouse on the uh, Cape Cod. On the, we're driving up to Provincetown. you tell me what the weather's like. Grace, I want you to describe the weather right now. <laughs> it's very cold, very windy right now. This is where the Mars Coast cable was laid across the ocean. It's a real pretty, there's just the tip of the lighthouse up there. Very pretty flower. Mm. This is the Cape Cod Lighthouse. At North Truro. in the distance you can see the Provincetown monument. It's quite a long ways away. Which is where we're heading. Yes, honey. Can you film the waves crashing down? Looking out on the Atlantic Ocean. And then here's the lighthouse from another view. Steve, do you want to say where we are? This we're was already on record, did you know that? No, we're on. Monument that we're going to try and climb. Are we going to climb to the top? Of course, we're going to climb to the top. Now we're up at the top of, of the tower, look at the monument, looking down at Provincetown. <laughs> Lizzie, did you enjoy, enjoy that walk up here? Different view of Provincetown from up on top of the monument. There is the very tip, very tip of the Cape the Lighthouse. And this is the area where the Pilgrims first landed in 1620. View of Provincetown from um, slightly different direction. Looking down on the main part of town.
across the cave. And there's View of Provincetown. We are in the lobster pond in Provincetown. Jeremy, you want to watch the chair? Waiting for some. Still Provincetown out on the balcony of this restaurant looking at Provincetown Harbor Beach. Kit Cod in the background. Shot of Provincetown, Main Street, Commercial Street. The old church that's now an art museum. Fudge eaters here. You want a picture of us stuffing your faces? No.
Province Town Theater, date of 1919. Morning, Jeremy. JR. What are some things you'd like to do today? Read about And eat. And eat. Well, we're about to do that. We're about to have, have breakfast here. Hi, Bubba. Good morning. How about some golf today, Brad? Sure, as long as I get to swim with the left handed clubs. I thought you said as long as I get to swim. Uh, well, what if you can't get left-handed clubs you won't play, or you just won't be a I'll be right-handed. I beat you playing with right-handed clubs oh, when we were in Michigan. Not anymore. Not anymore. How you've never beat me. Brad, what I'm thinking about doing is renting two sets of clubs so that we can all play with two sets of clubs. That just way. Just film our feet, Steve. We don't want our faces done. You don't want your face in the sun? We don't want our faces done. More work. Looks like I'm not going to be able to. Morning. Looks like I'm going to have another handicap. What's that? I'm left handed. Are you still left handed, Bradley? We sent you to college and you're still left handed. That's if people live longer. <laughs> They're supposed to be brighter. Oh, I like those shoes. Okay, we are now bicycling, bicycle riding along Shore Road. In Chatham. Looking at all these beautiful, up, beautiful homes. Yeah. Oh, what a great feeling it is to be out in the open. Sunshine. This is Main Street, looking down Main Street in Chatham. Some more houses. And up in front of me, there's looks like another biker. It's probably a native Chatham Wa. Oh, he's doing dangerous feats. Oh, now this looks like a very elegant Epicurean restaurant called the Breakaway Cafe. <clears throat> this is a monument to a lighthouse tenders who lost their lives uh, performing their duties. And uh, this is right here next to the Chatham Light, which is Lighthouse in Chatham. Lighthouse is still working, still functioning. Looking out to the beautiful blue Atlantic Ocean. Back on our bicycle now. And here's the big stately homes on Bridge Street. It's called Bridge Street because we will come to a bridge. We're coming to this little bridge.
this little bridge. Looking up over at this little inland. We're coming up to a little museum here. It's uh, on the museum grounds. Here is this old light from a lighthouse. Uh, and uh, I don't know exactly what kind of a museum this is. We're gonna, we're gonna check it out a little bit. This answers the question. It's a house that was built in 19, 1752. It belonged to the Link, Lincoln's family. Very interesting old house. Cape Cod, big house. And an herb garden. 